Hello everyone and welcome to scardia.com. I'm your educator Dr. Ali Imran and today's lecture is on systemic lupus erythematosus part 2. So for this lecture do visit my lecture about SLE part 1. So in this lecture to outline we will be studying about first of all the diagnostic criteria how to diagnose it, what's the mnemonic for it, then we learn about its diagnosis through autoantibodies, which antibodies are used, what its specificity is, and how specificities is helps us in making the choice for the antibodies selection. Then we learn about how these antibodies are detected. What is ELISA? What are different types of ELISA? And how it works. Then we learn about the standard tests, including the screening tests. Why do we use screening tests? Why standard tests are used? Why they're compulsory? Then we learn about the flares and how flares happen in patients with SLE and how certain tests can help us detect or predict flares in such patients. Then we learn about those tests which do. Then we learn about the management after the diagnosis of SLE. We learn about all the scenarios that may happen during the course of the treatment for the patient then how to treat the patient, when to introduce conservative treatment, when to introduce immunosuppressants, what immunosuppressants are used and which immunosuppressants is used more often, which is safe, which is not so much safe. We'll learn all this in this particular lecture. Then we'll move on to certain type of scenarios where the normal pattern of treatment does not work like in this example then we learn about the association between pregnancy and lupus that how it affects the pregnancy and what we can do to avoid it then we learn about the relationship between SLE and antiphospholipid syndrome and why and auto antibodies for antiphospholipid syndromes are also detected during the course for the treatment and workup for the SLE. Why it's done, why it's important, and why it should be done and considered, we'll learn about this one too. Then we learn about the microvascular thrombotic crisis, what it is, what, com what two states comprises it, how it happens, what are its three main pillars, what we can do in the laboratory findings, and what are its main treatment options. We learn about this one along with the lupus dermatitis and what is the one thing that every patient with lupus dermatitis must perform in order to have a better quality of life. So. This is all that we learn in this lecture. You can learn this one along with uh, topics in biochemistry, in anatomy, in physiology, in forensic medicine, in toxicology, two courses in radiology, medicine, surgery, gastroenterology. You can have thousands of lectures on scardia.com. You can even start your free trial on this website. So thank you so much for watching scardia.com.